Sir, it is a super Sunday morning, as we call it, because we know who made the day, know who made us. We're looking to him, and when we look to him and his words, supernatural things are expected. Amen, amen. And I know that you you got you got something for us today. Hey, hey we expect that, and I know that you're going to deliver. So I want to step out of the way, Pastor. And turn it over to you and let you do what you've been doing these past 27 years. That's bringing us news that we can use. The good news of Jesus Christ. Here he is, Pastor Mark Barris with Christ tonight. Pastor, you got it. All right, indeed. Delighted to be sharing the good news this morning. And, of course, you know what good news does? It sets your expectation, your anticipation. That's why the good news of Jesus Christ is so powerful to us. It sets our expectation based on the truth of God's love for us. But we are told in Romans chapter 5 that God commissioned, commended, put on display, put a record in place, painted a picture for us in sending his son to die for us that we might live through him. What was he showing us? the extent and the greatness of his love and how much he valued us and the willingness to not only mean us good, but to do us good by sending his son for us. And we're, talk, of course, talking about the Lord Jesus. That's who B.B. is talking about in order to save us, in order to save the day because of love. He put himself in harm's way. Well, at the top of the hour, the song was says, come by here, good Lord, come by here. Well, I announce to you that he has come and that he has come and shown himself and, and uh, revealed himself to us. As the prophet Isaiah says, who has relieved our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? He was wounded for our transgressions bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and it was by his stripes that he was taken that we were being healed. Well, you know, those things happened. He foretold them. But then the apostle Peter looked back in 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 24 and says, himself bore our sins in his body on a tree, that we being dead to sin would live unto righteousness, and that by his stripes we are healed. We're in a series called Suited, and we open in that way, simply declaring that Christ has already conquered and finished all that we need. When I was growing up, there was a song that they sang. It says, what more can he do? What more can he do? He laid the foundation. He opened up the way. What more can he do? Well, he has done it all for us. And it is with this understanding that we sit and are suited uh, in, in Christ, uh, knowing that we have been raised up and made to sit together in heavenly places with him, that this happened for us while we were yet sinners. Christ, God executed his plan and purpose while we were yet sinners. And we are to be armed with the truth of God's love his foreknowledge, his working ahead of time, him finishing the work in Christ, such that you and I can walk this out now and stand, uh, having done all to stand, putting on the whole armor of God. Today, uh, and as we continue in these lessons, we're going to be talking about uh, at Connected Church this morning, how the armor of God <clears throat> is Christ himself, that uh, all of the weaponry and uh, the, the, uh, uh, the parts of the armor 
are simply a part of us being clothed in Christ, identifying with him moment by moment, day by day, as we realize and know this, that we have been baptized into Christ, and that as many have, have embraced him, have been baptized into him and have put him on. Now, as we talk about the armor and being clothed in him, it is about living out from day to day through application and practice the truth of what he has already accomplished in us. That is to say, putting on the word of God, putting on the promises of God, uh, acting with the knowledge of him and what he has already done for us. See, the helmet of salvation is all of the salvation and the benefits that come from salvation, guarding our minds, our thoughts, directing our perspective, helping us to keep ourselves sober and vigilant, even when the adversary, the devil, goes about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. When he comes to us, we have the helmet of salvation on and we are sober. Our minds are protected. Our thoughts are clear. Our perspective is God's perspective. And we know that we're dealing with a defeated foe, that Jesus has already spoiled him, made a, uh, spoiled him and his principalities, made an open show of them and triumphed in it. That's what it says in Colossians chapter two and verse 15. Why do we need to know that? And why do we need to put that on? Because when we face things in life and we deal with challenges, temptations, trial, test of our faith, we got to know you're in a fixed fight and you fight the fight of faith. You take that shield of faith because your thoughts are clear. You're not afraid of the roaring that he does as a lion, but you know that you have and are well suited in Christ, the one who has defeated and made you victorious and made you more than a conqueror. Well, join us this morning at 10.15 a.m. at the Holiday Inn Express Mid-City. We're in the banquet hall every single Sunday morning. That's our current meeting location. And we love to see you there. Of course, we're online at 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. So we would love to meet you, greet you, love on you in person. Uh, but we're also available online if you're unable to be with us. We'd love to connect for you to connect with us in that way. Well, this has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond, where Jesus is our joy and the dream of change is alive because together, you and I, we're the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this Super Sunday morning, Pete. Well, Pastor, we appreciate your great message this morning. And hey, we look forward to talking to you again in the morning, Lord willing, with another Christ in Action broadcast. Yes, sir. Blessings on you and what you continue to do 53 plus years and running. Lord willing, we'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. Have a great day. You too, Pastor. Bye-bye. All right. Well, hey, listen, uh, we love to we love to see you and we're going to be unpacking these truths. I believe that they'll be relevant to your life to see that this armor is not something that we independently have to uh, try to uh, 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 pull together and make up for ourselves that you can only put on what has been granted and made available to you. And Christ has come after and for us all. And the things that he has accomplished is available to all, beginning with embracing and being baptized into him by confessing him. We're going to talk about being clothed with Christ and its relevancy to this armor, his relevancy and all of what he has done for us. Hey, again, We'd love to see you there. We know it's a rainy day here in Huntsville, but you know what? The rain and snow, the word of God is going to be going forth, uh, and it's, it's going to cause you to spring forth and bud, to prosper in the things that it sends you to do and accomplishes everything that he pleases. 
Well, until then, remember this. God loves himself some you, and we do too. But you matter to God, and you certainly matter to us. Have a great day. Talk to you again real soon.